Hello everyone, welcome back to Milestone Gaming. My name is Malachi Garka, and today I'm going to be unboxing Battlecon, Devastation of Indies. I hope you all enjoy the video. Alright, so this is Battlecon, Devastation of Indies, and this is a very large box, as you can see. Yeah, it's pretty big. I think it weighs something like 11 pounds. So, will you save the world or rule it? Battlecon brings the best of head-to-head -head combat to life on your tabletop. Select your champion from 32 fantastical heroes and villains. Then build custom attacks to take down your opponent in an intense, highly strategic duel. Choose from a roster of all powerful mages, secret operatives, skilled martial artists, and more. Each fighter comes with a unique ability that will inspire you to adapt your strategy and will completely change the course of the game. Hone your skills and master combat and outplay the competition. No two matches will ever play out the same. Play this game alone or combine it with other Battlecon games for even more possibilities. Contents, 32 unique fighters to master, 4 huge bosses to conquer, 6 solo and co-op co dungeons to explore, and the bosses and co-op and solo dungeons are both very important to me um, as a solo gamer. 12 arenas to duel in, multiple variants to change the game each time you play, and then these are the 32 fighters there, it's a little bit of a odd thing going on with those two pictures of the fighter, they're kind of overlapping. This one's kind of cut off a bit. Kind of odd. Alright, let's take off the shrink. So now the shrink is all off. So let's see what's inside. Alright. So we have a mode guide. Um, let's see, we have extra modes some art here the armory so we have custom weapons relics trinkets henchmen okay so this looks like the solo adventure so we have a solo adventure here I think there's three solo adventures okay this is a three player hmm all right so three player team adventure two player team adventure Three-player team adventure, a four-player team adventure. Okay. Cool. And then we have the rule book. You can scan the QR code to take yourself to a rule uh, tutorial video. And this has 39 pages of rules. All right. Next up, we have what appears to be a poster, maybe. Oh, okay. So on one side, we have a quick start guide. Quick start guide takes you through all the phases there. And then on the other side, it is, as expected, a poster. So that's pretty neat. Let's put that away later. All right, what is this? Part one: Return of the Dragon King. Hmm. Um. Is this like a lore book? Not entirely sh sure. Let's see. So, we have some lore. It seems. Fighter select. I think this is a uh, description of the fighters, maybe. Piers. Yeah, and then we have a part two, the Well of Souls. With another fighter select. I'm really uh, not. I think this is just kind of information on the different fighters in the game. I'm not entirely sure. Part three, Into the Breach. More lore, characters, select again. We have novice, intermediate, and then advanced characters. Helpful for new players. More character information. So I think it just kind of breaks it up for you into three chunks so that you're not overwhelmed at the beginning of, with all your choices. Uh, looks like an ad for their other games. Pixel Tactics, Succeed, and then Imperial Spells and Steam. Fourth edition transition guide. Alright. 
which is good for me because I already own War of Indies, and so I will need to transition some of those things into my 4th edition if I want to use everything. So I think these are the Fighter Tuck Boxes. be able to assemble these. These are actually really nice quality cardboard. Um, or, yeah, cardstock. be able to make them for all the different fighters, which is kind of cool. We have the board, I think. The bridge on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. I'm not sure the normal board does seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what this is for, but I know that this is the normal board. It's nice. Alright, these are the arena cards. Okay. I think there are the thing the boss says there's twelve of these, so these are all slightly different rules for the game. This one uses... let's focus that in there, there we go. This one uses six space arenas. You have different rules for each of these to change up your game. Then we have a bunch of... sorry about that. Let's focus this in there. There we go. Alright, so we have a ton of punch boards here. Let's see how many. I mean, of course it's not going to be as much as, like, Gloomhaven, but still going to be a, probably a decent amount here. Alright. So. Oh. Alright, these punch out pretty easily. Force token. This must be for the force abilities here. Defense up. Yeah, punches out really easily. Nice card stock or card board. I, man, I am not keeping those straight today. Alright. Um, some standees here. Uh, looks like we have some pixelated ones, and then... I wonder if this is made for the enemies, for the solo cooperative mode? Character. Some specific abilities for each character. So we have... This is a Malice token, looks like. For one of the characters. Gives you plus one priority. And then we have some zombie tokens. I wonder what those are for. Probably some sort of necromancer-type character. Or maybe the solo mode. I don't know. Uh, let's see. This is Battle Quest. Uh, single player slash co-op mode. Active attack number four. Don't know what that means at all. More stuff. Gel. Jagger. Some sort of rock monster, maybe. Wolf. I don't know. Uh, we've got a clone here different tokens and such. Alright, so now we have a bunch of cards and things. So, these are the stands. So, oops. Alright, it's very tight. Um, doesn't seem to be uh, a little bit of damage maybe there. I don't know. I think I'd maybe want them to be a little bit looser, just so it doesn't damage the cardboard, but that's fine. We have one, two... We have four of them, and then the one I dropped, so five total. So, mini cards. Let's see if I can open these. And we'll get my knife. Alright. Alright, so we have these mini cards. Active player. You act first during all phases. Act second. Reactive player. Alright, mirror image. Some interesting little cards here. Probably some character-specific stuff. Cool. All right, so now we have a ton of cards here, and looks like cardboard. I'm not entirely sure how this all works. All right, we have tons of decks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen decks. This one seems a little bit smaller than the others, but still, fourteen decks. That's a lot of cards. Surprised there wasn't like a count on the back of the box for how many cards was. Several hundred, no doubt. Alright, character stuff. Tons of cards. Yeah, and this is 
going to be the majority of everything that comes inside the box. Just tons of cards. Well, let's look at a couple of these. I don't want to be here all day. Uh, huh. Oh, I think these might be for bosses. Maybe. Would make sense because of the back. Probably. Huh. I'm interested to see how the solo mode works. I'm hoping to do a playthrough. Uh, you can comment below. Would you rather see a dungeon, a single player dungeon, or would you rather see me fight against a boss? I'll do one of them, and whichever one you're more interested in, I'll do. I feel like the boss fight might be a little bit more in line with how a two-player game works, so I might do that one. But yeah, I'm hoping to hear what you guys think. Or maybe I'll do both. So just tons of different styles for each of the characters to make them unique. And uh, we're going to have a ton of cards here. I'm not... I think I'm going to just go through this one last deck here, if I can get it open. I am struggling with this. All right, there we go. So... a lot of different things here. Um, hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how all of these characters work. It's a lot of characters. Lackey, Brawler, what is this? Mercenary King? Hmm, I wonder if he maybe hires out these people to help him or something? I don't know. Yeah, there's just a ton of stuff, so let's just take all these out. Tons and tons and tons and tons of decks, wow. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, we have these little things in here. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if maybe you have maybe like two of these character boxes per square there, or are you supposed to take it out? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take it out. See what happens. Alright, nothing down there. So, yeah, I think this is like the, uh, the insert, kind of. So I will see how this ends up. Alright, so that is just a brief look at the stuff you get inside Devastation of Indies. There's a ton of stuff, and I am really looking forward to being able to try out all this cool stuff. And again, comment below on whether you would like me to do a dungeon playthrough solo dungeon playthrough, or a solo boss battle against a AI-driven boss, I think, uses these cards. I'm not entirely sure. I'll read the rulebook and find out. But yeah, comment below which one you'd like me to do, or maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I'll see what happens. But uh, until then, I hope you all have a great day, and happy gaming!